Hi everyone, it's Megan Amon from Crafting an MBA, and I'm here with the next installment in our Crafting an MBA video challenge how-to series. The big question that everybody wants to know is how to edit video. So that's what we're bringing with, with you today. And I say we because I'm also joined by, our, uh, by a special guest, Tim Amon, owner of Amon Video Productions, and he also happens to be my brother. So uh, thanks for joining us today, Tim. Thank you. All right. Uh, so my apologies to those of you on a PC, but today we're going to be talking about how to edit in iMovie. And we're using iMovie because it comes free with any Mac, um, So it's, and it's a really great kind of versatile free program. So we'll be talking about that. And just for those of you who might be interested, obviously we're doing a screen capture today, and I am using a program called I Show You to do our screen capture. And that's something that you can purchase and download for your Mac, and it's a really great program uh, for recording screen capture. So if you're interested in that, um, you can go ahead and check that out as well. I think the, the company is Shiny White Box. Yes, Shiny White Box is the one who makes it. So. And it's only what twenty dollars uh, twenty nine twenty nine dollars for the standard package and it's it's really great so all right so let's go ahead and get started we want to do some editing so I've gone ahead and opened up iMovie and what we're gonna do first is we are just going to create a new project and we're gonna leave that set at widescreen and I'm gonna title this project oops I can't type there we go why steal jewelry um, because that's the video that I'm gonna be editing today and I'm gonna hit create um, and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead into Project Properties and we're going to go into Initial Photo Placement and turn off the Ken Burns effect and just use Fit in Frame. Um, that's going to keep it from doing that, that panning of your still, still images when we go to add those in later. So we're just going to hit OK. All right. Um, then the next thing that I need is I actually need the video that I'm going to work with. So I'm going to go down to my Event Library. And I'm going to import. Yes. From here? No. No, you're going to want to go to File. Thank you. File. And then you're going to import movies. All right. If you have a video on a camera um, that doesn't already have a, a download option from the camera to the computer, like you recorded to like a mini DV tape, you can also do um, import from camera, and that's where that option kind of comes into play. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a video that I had previously uploaded from my camera and I am going to um, create new event. That doesn't really matter because it's all going to show up at the bottom. And then full. we're going to import as full. And I'm going to leave this set to copy files. I'm not going to move my files. I'm going to leave, leave the original ones where they are. And we're going to go ahead and import. And once it imports, it's going to show up down here at the bottom in my event library. If you're running on a PC, you obviously uh, should know, or you might not know, that you have Windows Movie Maker, which is essentially the iMovie for PCs. And um, everything you learn from editing on an iMovie here, uh, the, the interface is different, but essentially it's the exact same thing. Video editing software is, is the same concepts across programs. And when it says processing, really what it means is that it's rendering. So that way, when you do bring in your video into the timeline to edit and to make your actual uh, finished product video, um, essentially what it's doing when it's processing is rendering. And it just allows for playback when you're, you're editing your video and cutting it up. Now we've gone ahead and imported our video, and you can see that it shows up down here in our event library. 